We're only halfway through 2025, and volcanoes have already made the headlines with 54 eruptions including Italy's Mount Etna. However, there are some potentially bigger eruptions on scientists' radars that have people talking. So, should we be worried about Yellowstone in the US and Axial Seamount in the Pacific Ocean? The Yellowstone supervolcano last erupted 640,000 years ago, creating a crater measuring 70 km x 45 km wide, along with geysers, pressurized hot springs that erupt at extremely hot temperatures. What's more, the last eruption resulted in volcanic ash covering much of what is now the United States and lava gushing and flowing for miles. Since its last volcanic eruption, Yellowstone has become home to all manner of animals, bears, wolves, birds and elk, who live in the park's 8,900 square kilometer, 3,000 square mile, rivers, canyons, forests, and mountains. However, according to scientists, there will be two major volcanoes that could erupt by 2025, although there is always some kind of volcanic activity going on as there are between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes in Yellowstone per year on average and these are virtually undetectable as only about three or less are of that magnitude. Then, the molten rock magma is estimated to be between 4 kilometers and 47 kilometers below with 489 cubic kilometers estimated to be near the Earth's surface. The United States Geological Survey recently noted that this is a volume of melt estimated to be one to four times greater than the volume of the largest caldera forming eruptions in the past. However, there are separate areas where magma is stored throughout Yellowstone, rather than having one large reservoir. Of the two volcanoes, this one is seems more likely to erupt given the signs of imminent activity and the fact that the last eruption was in 2015.